In this uh, short video, we will discuss about electronic current and conventional current. Now, in year 1800, Alexander Volta, an Italian scientist, performed an experiment to produce electric current and he made a battery actually. This is that battery called Pile de Volta and with the help of this battery, he showed that the current flows between the positive and negative terminals if they are collected. <clears throat> now, before we go further, it's a good idea to understand the meaning of conventional current or the meaning of the word conventional. So, uh, in the English it is accordance, in accordance with what is generally believed. So anything that is generally believed is called conventional. In Urdu uh, we call it Ravayati. In Hindi it is called Parampariya, Paramparik. And in Bengali it is called Prachalito. So conventional current flows from the positive terminal. Actually it was assumed in the initial days that the current flows out of the positive terminal. So it was assumed that the current, if you have a circuit, uh, connect, battery connected with a resistance of, or more than one resistance, then the current starts flowing from the positive terminal. This was an assumption in the earlier days. But later on it was found that this convention is wrong because the current flows or the electron flows or the negative charge flows from the negative terminal of the battery. So we'll discuss that in the next slide. Uh, the conventional current however is assumed to flow from the positive terminal of the battery for flow out and then it comes into the negative terminal. And uh, as we were discussing that the electron flow or the electronic charge flow or the negative charge flow is from the negative terminal of the battery. So the electron flow or the current flow in this case is from negative terminal going to the positive terminal and that is why this current is called electronic current. Now, you can see from these two diagrams, this is the conventional current and this is electronic current. So, it, for, from the circuit point of view really, it does not make any difference whether the, uh, we assuming that the current is conventional current or we take the actual uh, electronic current flow. It does not affect your outcome, it does not affect the results. Uh, let me show you what will happen. Uh, we follow the convention that uh, current touching any terminal of the resistor or any other device touching first will become positive in case of a conventional current. So like in this case, this current coming out from the uh, positive terminal touching this point first will make it positive and obviously the other terminal will be negative. So this, this convention is used when we uh, try to analyze the circuit uh, through the uh, KVL method. Now let's see what, what difference is in ca case of electronic current. Since the electronic current is now flowing from the negative terminal and in this case First of all, we say that wherever the electronic current touches the resistor, that terminal will become negative. So this is negative and obviously the other terminal will become positive. So you see there is no difference actually, positive at the top, positive at the top, negative at the top, negative at the top. Now, the confusion prevailed because there were many books which were written in uh, 
using the conventional current ma methods from day one, but later on uh, when electronic current flow was uh, discussed or when electronic uh, current flow was known to be the correct method, then some authors, they also wrote books. Now this book is from Floyd, Electronic Devices, and here it is said that it is following conventional current version. And the same author has written another book, Electronic Devices, and in this case he has written Electronic Flow Version. Now, this is generally, uh, the electronic current flow method is generally popular uh, by, uh, in the physics circle. Physicists, they prefer uh, to work with the electronic current uh, flow method because that is the correct method. However, in the context of electrical engineering, the conventional current is uh, the far more common and so this is what is followed by the electrical engineer. So I hope this gives you some idea uh, about the difference between the two.